God says you should listen to the spiritual masters and take heed on what they say for they are mouthpieces of me. God says that if you love me you will listen and you will take heed of what these great people have realized for they have realized me. God says those of us who have realized me will want to share their love, their realization of me. God says that if you think you love me and continue living like you do, then you haven't really heard me because in order to hear me you will not be so self-possessed you will become more and more God-possessed your whole being will be possessed by me and that is to be possessed as love happiness joy delight peace intimacy these are the qualities that I am God says the more you love me the more I will be able to live you God says, you've got to forget your first birth stuff and be reborn of the Spirit. God says, you've got to not like your first birth stuff. You've got to be more and more repulsed by it. The first birth stuff is represented by the clenched fist and the second birth stuff is represented by the open hand. To live like an open hand is to live as God incarnate. God says there must be a transformation in your life. God says there must be a light bulb happening in your life. God says you've got to shine beyond yourself. Realize what you are doing that is preventing you from living a life that is divinely made, God made. Get out of the way and allow me in, God says. Get out of the way. Realize that it's a self-contraction that is the ruination of all harmony, of all real peace, of all real love and intimacy in life. God says, my true state is love and happiness and intimacy and joy and delight. He says that, or it says, that my true state, my true disposition is free of all egoity. And egoity is what is being dramatized 
throughout the world right now in your own home, in your own life, in your own community. Ego is detrimental to God. Ego is this activity of the self-contraction that is sin. It is the separation, the separative act. And this is God. This is the separative act. It is not. You've got to realize, you've got to open up, that God will open you up if you turn to God. Turn to the spiritual masters. Turn away and listen to the spiritual masters. Be re-educated. For me, my spiritual master is Adidas Samraj. He has taught me, and I have listened and heard, that there is a greater way, a more mature way, to live. And it's not egoic maturity. It's already the case that you are already mature, already happy, if only you would stop doing this self-contraction. Everyone is living in a self-centered manner, self-possessed way. It's all about me, 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 against you, 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 you. Everyone's at war. It's not good. To turn away from this to this is a radical activity. It requires great self-understanding. It requires a heart intention to live differently. To live the way of the heart rather than the way of ego, the way of the mind, requires courage, it requires, as I said, great self-understanding and the heart intention to live differently. To break away from the egoic system <clears throat> that is enlightenment. Only those who have been graced and blessed to understand this and to see this clearly are truly happy. With a capital H, unmade happiness, uncaused, unreasonable. To be unreasonably happy is the enlightened state. Listen to these masters and take heed Jesus Christ was not the only master and hardly anyone is living the teachings of Jesus Christ there are millions of Christians, but that's just a label. It's just something to belong to. It's just a way of life that consoles you, keeps you in place, gives you security, etc. 
It is, has nothing whatsoever to do with God. It's egoic. You have to realise truly what Jesus meant when he said you've got to be born again of the Spirit. You've got to understand what Jesus meant by you've got eyes but you do not see. You've got ears but you do not hear. You've got to understand what Jesus meant by it is easier, far easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle and for a wise man or a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. The esoteric teachings of Jesus, these hidden teach teachings with hidden meanings can only be understood due to realisation, not belief. It's an individual on your own understanding and realisation without the scaffolding that everyone seems to want. Understand that you are dramatising an emotional problem. That everyone is dramatising an emotional problem, so called. Everyone is wanting everyone else to make them feel happy. Everyone is wanting everyone else to relieve them, to console them. Everyone is expecting lots of ticks and gold stars. Everyone is living in a childish and adolescent way as adults. God says this must be interfered with by this heart intention to live a life of love, joy, happiness under all circumstances. To realise one's inherent state, one's innate state, is to have realised God. God is not some person up there in heaven with a white beard. God is a state. God is a disposition. And once the body-mind has become so open, it is full of energy and love and light. Intimacy. The way to that disposition, which is already the case, is to forget yourself and to remember God more and more. So be subservient, be a servant of the God state. Once again, Adidas Sambraj. Listen to his teachings if you wish to make a change in your or to be changed is a metamorphic change. 